Alright guys, Rollcar here, making a bandos guide. Because a lot of people that I've been going with don't know how to go, so I've been teaching them. So, the gear I'd bring if you're a high level is full bandos, DFS, Ellie, if you have one, Spectral. Any spirit shield really works. Goliath gloves, they can be substituted for any gloves, like band Barrow's gloves, my bad. Bring a Nezzy or a Fighter Home for the max stab, RE Cloak for max stab or fire cape, or the new cape. Fury, and those. And if you can't afford that, Carol's top and Varric's skirt works just fine for the prayer bonus and stuff. Works perfectly fine. But I'm not going to be bringing that in this video. Make sure you bring one Zamrock Arrow. You can bring a familiar if you want. In this video, I'm going to bring a Titan because I don't have a unicorn yet. But anyone works good. Anyone's fine to bring. So I will gear up and then show you how to get there. So I hate it how you can't do this here. So summon your familiar. Get your gear ready. We'll bring we'll bring a hundred dread nips. You don't have to bring these, it just makes it way easier. Bring Dragon Claws or whatever special weapon you need. Or bring... Two Overloads, some Spec Recovers. I, kn I know you guys probably don't have these, so Supersets work. And if you're gonna bring Supersets, only bring about two Panic Brews. Because Brews lower your stats. And you don't want to have your stats drained when you're fighting Bandos. Because you will not hit. So if you can modify your tabs, bring a Trollheim Teleport, that works, that's how I tell you there. But in the normal book, you can, there's a, uh, there's a normal tell you there, I think. If not, it's pretty easy to get there. It's, uh, northwest of Berthope. So, I'm just gonna gear up and show you where to get kill count and everything. And then after I get kill count, I will go. And so, tell you to Trollheim. then go down here you can renew your points at the obelisk if you're gonna soul and you're good at it bring more than one titan or most people bring a a tortoise and a titan which i normally would bring so I'm just gonna organize my inventory spec recovers are for if someone tries to crash me so i'm just pretty much showing you how to get to bandos right now i would recommend at least 90 plus in the combat stats oh shit I ran the wrong way. My bad. I thought I clicked down here. Titan doesn't heal that good, but it brings your defense up, which is nice. It's like drinking extreme defense. So, I'm just showing you how to get there right now. And I'm going to show you the fastest way to get kill count, and then I'm going to pause the video and restart. Alright, so, you. Oh, what the fuck. So, you want to lift up the boulder? And I'd pray melee here if I were you. I don't really solo much normally do, I? so you just keep running up here. You want to pray melee here because the wolves can hit really, and they can hit like 15, so what you don't want to hit while while getting down there. And then when you come down here, pray mage for the first part. Unless if you have the carols on, then you'll be fine. And run run north a bit. And now we're safe to take it off. Alright, so I'll show you the fastest way to get kill count. You can hit those, then run up here and kill the goblins. Killing the go killing goblins is by far the fastest way. So, you just, you need a 40 kill count to get into ban those, which is really easy to get. So once you heard everything, run, run, uh, this way. And get these goblins. Once again, if you die, you can get kill count before your grave's gone easily. So just don't bring your best gear. So you can just get your crap back really fast if you die. Or have like a backup whip and backup gear in your bank. So you can get your kill count. And Bandos is weak to slash. If you have a CLS, that's perfect. Otherwise, just bring a whip or a rapier. And I will resume the video after I get my kill count. Alright guys, I'm back. And... I have my kill count, so I'm just going to show you where to go now to get to Bandos. So you come up here, like, 
you can just watch from where I got my kill count. That's my failure from getting 10 in all the skills. So you come up here and bang on the door. And this is why you need a bandos you need a bandos item on for this one reason. So all these things don't attack you. And this is lucky, a free world. Are you fucking kidding me? No. So no. This guy is now the most hated person on RuneScape. Crash in my video. I will come back when I find the world. Alright, I'm back. And you want to have your purse set to Prey Melee. And Turmoil or Pity. So I'm about to go in. So I'm going to overload out here. Or Super Set. Brew first. Restore. You know. The usual stuff. And then you want to heal to full. Put on your prayers. Then go into the room. Once in the room, you want to get bandos. If you have dreadnips, I suggest to send them. And you want to claw spec right off the bat so you can get back really fast. And I am lagging pretty bad. And you hardly take any damage if you're in good gear. So after you kill bandos, uh, you want to save strong sack for last. And kill the ranger first. Room 2H. Kill the ranger or major first. I normally suggest major because he hits more often. So I'm gonna come down here and soul split the major to heal my life. Look, now he's hitting me for some reason. So you want to just mainly heal off them. They drop sharks. Bandos are really good for money. So you want to keep killing them. I will throw in an extra kill on this just just for uh, to show you more better once you get the first kill down. The first kill will most likely be the hardest kill. So, I'd suggest picking up the bones, they're 10k each. So after you get the first kill, you can come down to this wall. If you have a team, you want to stay along the wall. Because I will show you right where Bando spawns. Bando spawns right here. So you want to stay a little close to the wall. So you have time to click your uh, prayers and restore and brew up whatever you need to do so there's not a lot of people in this world so the respawn time is kind of long but it's still okay bandos is a fun boss to do very easy great profit so he spawned i'm gonna hit him dreadnip him and if you have a familiar you can have an attack that's up to you i normally don't because titans don't hit good well sometimes they do uh, this is gonna be a long kill so getting hit so I'm just gonna heal with my Titan first so you kind of you want to stay like above 500 health because the minions can combo pretty hard sometimes so he's kind of raping me right now or the minions you always want to be watching your prayer and you can pray at this altar every 10 minutes and it will heal you above your normal points all right so my dreadnip has fled so I want to call another dreadnip in and then I'm not even gonna bother healing with my normal heals yet, because I can. I still have time to soul split off a strong sack and grim spike. I will kill the major first this time, just to show you it's more efficient. And my prayer's probably gonna drop before I kill him, because his rapier is not hidden. Okay, so you wanna pray that? And I got coins. Normally a 22k drop. So you want to heal off these if you have soul split. If not, you just want to eat your sharks or bruise or whatever you bought. It's up to you. So, alright. This is pretty much wrapping up the video, but you want to kill a uh, strong sack last. That's key. And these also drop a lot of food and clue scrolls. Elites. Sometimes they drop hearts, if you're unlucky. So, that's my guide for bandos. Alright, enjoy the video and see you later.